If you are a single mother navigating the dating world, you need to watch this video. And if you're not a single mother, you might find some pockets of information that are useful for you. However, for my single mothers out there, I know getting into this dating scene is daunting. And the thing is, us single mothers need to protect ourselves at such a higher rate than non-single mothers because there are a lot of the fresh and fits of the world. And there are a lot of men who hold this ideology that us single mothers are a means to pleasure themselves and to not have any intention to settle down with us. And so it's up to us, unfortunately, to set our standards way higher and set boundaries so that we're able to protect ourselves from these types of men. First and foremost being that we should not be jumping into intimacy quickly with people we're dating because a lot of those types of men um, will tell us all the sweet nothings that we want to hear in order to get in bed with us. The longer we wait, the easier it is to ward off these kind of men because no man who has no intention of sticking around is going to wait three to six months to get in bed with you when he can just go on to the next girl who doesn't have as high standards and who don't have these boundaries in place to protect them. So waiting a long time for intimacy with the people that you were dating or the person that you're dating is of utmost importance, especially if you're a single mother. If you're not a single mother, this also applies to you because you'll weed out those guys who just want to sleep with you. But for single moms, because there are a group of dusties who hold this kind of notion that single moms are... I don't have to say it. I don't want to repeat those things, but you've all seen those types those types of dudes on those podcasts and what they say about single mothers. And so I recommend waiting three to six months um, to really vet out a person. And also it protects your emotions from clouding your judgment. How this happens is because as women, scientifically, we bond through the chemical release of oxytocin. And oxytocin is released when we are intimate with another person. Now, when we bring in this intimacy early on in the relationship and we release these hormones that essentially make us bond with this person, it might cloud our judgment because our feelings for them won't actually be driven by our real perception of this person and their actions and their behaviors but it'll be clouded by the way that we feel in that lovey-dovey, dreamy state because we've slept with them. And so it not only pr protects us from the potential of someone who has ill intentions coming into our lives, but it also protects our emotions to not get dreamy and worked up and excited about a person who ain't all that and they're not really that great. So waiting that three to six month period is super important to be able to vet out that person properly without getting our hormones and emotions involved on a scientific level. Another thing is to approach dating and dates with a level of confidence, knowing and trusting how significant you are. And when you sit in these dates, I don't want you to be preoccupied if this person likes you, if they're going to be fond of you. No, you are deciding whether you like this person. Okay. Because the thing is when you walk into these spaces and you are meeting these people with a kind of desperate feeling of, do they like me? I hope they like me. That's energy that can be sensed. And especially as a single mother, you don't want anyone to think that you quote unquote need, th need them or you need a partner and you're like desperate to be seen and loved. No, because you are amazing just the way you are and you are deciding whether you even like the person to begin, begin with. I don't want you going into these dates worrying about if people like you. You need to be worrying about if you like them. You are the interviewer, okay? And they are coming in and you are seeing if they are worthy to be in your space for prolonged periods of time. That is the kind of energy that I want you to have when you are dating, especially if you're a single mother. And I know it's hard because a lot of us struggle with confidence and feelings of self-worth and feeling worthy of love and good things. And the truth is, is we are very much worthy of everything good in life. 
you are worthy of the best of the best and you are only going to allow the best to enter your life. And when you have that kind of view, that energy just radiates out of you. All right. And that kind of scares people who want to prey on women with low self-worth because when you come in knowing that you are this goddess filled with light and energy and just filled with this type of feelings everyone can sense it and I want you to work on your self-confidence so that you truly truly believe in yourself that you are the shit and you are out here sifting out the dusties you're not worried about whether the dusties like you or not because you know your power you recognize your own power and that is something i want you to work on acknowledging your power stepping into that power stepping into your confident self and that might mean investing more into yourself so that you're able to feel better about yourself and i promise you once you start approaching dating in this kind of light it's going to be less scary because you're not worried about people liking you you're worried about you liking them and that changes the game altogether so I hope this is helpful for my single mamas out there. Or if you're not a single mom, I hope this, this is helpful for you. Um, yeah, comment any other advice that us single moms can use while dating.